Huh, I wonder if the mail's here. Ow! Okay, let's see what we have today. Local YouTuber sleeps for nearly two weeks, YouTuber fails to see pause button, YouTuber sets record low on IQ test- Grace, remind me again why we're subscribed to the Anti-Lucy Club Daily. Well, I think it's time we look up a more reliable newspaper to subscribe to. Doom scrolling about myself in the news won't do me any good. Hmm, the Bikini Bottom Bugle. Looks reliable enough. I trust any paper that touches on eating competitions, only showing us the real news. So in our last video, we checked out a game called Bedtime in Bikini Bottom. It was a compilation of minigames based around the characters SpongeBob, Squidward, Plankton, and Gary. While it was decent enough, it was also very strange. Mr. Game, Mr. Game. But actually, it had a sibling game called the Bikini Bottom Bugle. It was also a collection of four mini-games with the same music and voice clips, along with a few others. It was styled like a newspaper with the mini-games representing different articles. It sort of reminds me of another great activity that was once on Nick.com, Plankton's Krusty Bottom. Weekly. So since we liked Bedtime and Bikini Bottom so much, let's check this one out too. The first game we have here is Plankton's Food Fight, under the News section. Plankton sauced during assault on the Krusty Krab. Wait, sauced? Ah, he got drunk and attacked the Krusty Krab. I did that with a Walmart once. And in the instructions, you can see that you can also use a tablet to play this. Heh, <laughs> tabloid on a tablet. So without any explanation, an army of Planktons is invading the Krusty Krab and you have to kill them all. You can select between the deadly weapons of ketchup, pickles, and potatoes to shoot at them. You also have a body count. I like that this meter has a skeleton of Spongebob at the end to show that you're dead once you run out of time. Just showing you the harsh reality of it all. We all run out of time eventually. You also get to hear these voice clips. Oh, oh, no, no, no! <laughs> yeah, they're the same ones you hear in Bedtime in Bikini Bottom. The ketchup is your standard weapon and can take out one or two enemies at a time. Wow, ketchup as a weapon? The Planktons must be from Chicago. The pickles give a bigger explosion and the potatoes can take out a whole bunch of them at once. Each weapon has a meter that needs to recharge after it's used, so you can't just use the pickles and potatoes endlessly. And eventually, some of the Planktons will zip toward you at sonic speed. Now that's just silly. But after you die, you might get a code if your score was high enough. In each game, you can enter one to unlock some collectible that will help you, or show a funny animation during the gameplay. Things that give you more time or invincibility can really help out, so it's nice to have this detail. The codes are easily guessable because they're all just straight rows of the characters. You can honestly just keep pressing buttons until you unlock them all. Also, hi Fred. So yeah, this is just a standard target shooter. So let's move on to the health section with bubble trouble. What do bubbles have to do with health, you ask? Usually gas. But in this case, the ocean is being polluted, so you have to blow bubbles and catch all the garbage. There it is! Uh, okay. Am I doing something wrong, or...? Yeah, the instructions aren't entirely clear on what you're supposed to do. You have to hold the mouse and blow a bubble to a size that's compatible with the junk you're trying to catch. Still, it's hard to tell how specific you have to be. Sometimes I miss things without really knowing why. Once you understand what to do, it isn't too hard, but it does take some getting used to so you know what size each bubble has to be. You have to get the hang of both the size and how close you have to be to the junk. It's a lot more complicated than you'd expect. And one of the codes lets you blow bubbles of blood. Yeah, I know it's ketchup. Well, let's move on. This one is called Feeder Frenzy, and it's in the food section. Sandy and Patrick are eating stuff, so let's see how that's going. Ew! Well, that was a great game. And here I thought Sandy liked Krabby Patties. But yeah, you hit the left arrow when a nut comes down, and the right one when it's a Krabby Patty. Then either Sandy or Patrick will eat it. If they eat the wrong thing, they get very, very sick. I also like that Squidward's right here for seemingly no reason. He's just there for a typical luncheon while Patrick and Sandy are eating all the food before he can get to it. Such is life for him. 
They're also doing this in Mr. Krabs' office. I imagine he's somewhere off screen looking terrified. But in this one, you have to use the codes because they change the game considerably. Sometimes an item neither of them can eat will come up and you'll have to hit the down arrow to drop it. If you drop a regular item, they both get sick. And watch what happens when you drop one of Squidward's paintings. So I guess he's there for something. And this one's really fun. Simple, but a good time. So let's check out the last minigame, Squidward's Portrait Panic. This is under the crime section. I find myself there from time to time. So Squidward's art has been stolen, probably by some Twitter meme account, and he has to get it back. How does he do this? By making like the Foo Fighters and learning to fly. You click on him to make him swim and try to avoid rows of jellyfish while grabbing your stolen art. You have to keep yourself afloat at just the right height to wait for the enemies to go by. The entire time, Squidward voices the thoughts that are always going through my head. I am getting really tired. I hate my job. I find it both exhausting and time consuming. I am way out of my comfort zone. Now this is really silly, but it might actually be my favorite of the four. I enjoy making him go up and down, and it's fun to work your way through different jellyfish formations, especially when they make circles and you have to hover in the middle of them, even though sometimes that's the very first obstacle you get hit with. They did a good job with this. And that does it for the games in Bikini Bottom Bugle. So, what are our thoughts on this one? Hmm. I think overall, they did a better job with Bedtime and Bikini Bottom, but this one has its merits. I like the amount of additional features you can get by using the codes, and the games themselves can really occupy your time. They're all simple, but really amusing. I also like that the end screens will often say quotes such as Wumbo or Mediocre. This whole collection is engaging and a good way to spend your time. So what do you know? The Bikini Bottom Bugle is a news source that you actually can trust. Just wait till you hear what they have to say about current world issues. So anyway, thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next memory. What is it, Grace? Oh, a news report. This just in. A long-lost flash drive has just been uncovered after our team managed to dig it out of the ground, and is said to contain an old Lucy Lilium video called Operation Rail. Despite the YouTuber's best efforts to hide this, it made its way into the hands of our team and will finally be released to the public. Uh, Grace? I'm going back to sleep for another two weeks. Hey everyone, it's Lucy here. Thank you so much for watching. As you might have gathered from that ending, my 100th video is coming up. I recently decided to unprivate my original videos on Employee of the Month and Operation Krabby Patty, even with their audio issues, so that means we shot up to 100 faster than I expected to. I have an extremely special video meant to mark the occasion, so be on the lookout for it. It wasn't originally going to be my 100th video, but I kind of went overboard with the writing and made it way too big of a production to just have as a casual video, so yeah, it's been biding its time. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter in the description. I often give updates about this channel over there. And also follow my Twitch, because we're going to start streaming very soon. And who knows, maybe Grace will invade some of my streams. I know she's what all of you watch these videos for. But anyway, thank you again for watching. I will see you in Operation Rail.